Welcome back to Hearthstone ranked pain number whatever. Oh god, 10 days until the season ends. So today I've decided to change my deck for ranked from the Trump's free mage deck to my custom shaman deck. Because I really like shamans and that's pretty much about it. I like the mechanics of shaman. The ability to summon totems is uh, really, really good. What else? Uh, shaman's got a lot of cheap re removal. The cheapest removal in game, I think. Hex for 3 mana. Uh, compare that to Polymorph, which costs... Four mana. Oh god. There we go. Yeah, so I got a couple of legendaries in this deck, but I don't think I'll need them right now. I'll need them maybe in late game to remove. Oh, and to remove a lot of medium sized creatures. Because Lightning Storm is a really good ability. It can be used as a flame strike if you got some spell power. Okay, so now I got a turn one, which is good. I've added a, a, added Argent Squire to spice things up, just like I did in the Mage deck. Okay, so he gets a Taunt Totem, no big deal. Next turn I'll coin out Yeti. Mm. Yes, yeah, so I'll I'll coin the Yeti, and then I'll play my second Yeti. Okay, go to the Yeti, and turn. Man, this dude is born to run. My, well, I, I've seen a lot of really fun names in uh, Battle.net. Because there are so many creative people. Not just like me putting my surname with the the. They like born to run, skilled. I saw a dude whose name was like Double Sword Z Dragon. Some creepy thing like that. So yeah, if you are willing to go to Battle.net, get a really cool name. Because there are millions of options able to you. Okay, there we go. So he killed my Yeti with a Rock Biter weapon on his Harvest Golem. Which is no, no big deal. And uh, I killed his summoned Golem. Damaged Golem with my Argent Squire. So the Divine Shield is now gone. And I played my second Yeti. So nothing big, big is going on on the board. What to do? Now actually there has been a lot of uh, questions, I've read a lot of questions about hunters being overpowered. And I uh, par partly agree about it, but if you will take out the Unleash the Hounds from the Hunter deck, hunters would be kind of a bit useless. Because that, that's the whole idea, even their hero power, is to nuke down your opponent as fast as you can. And you cannot do that without a, an ability, a turn ability. You know, a turn ability, under that I mean if you will have a bunch of minions on board, you just need one ability, ability to finish the dudes. Or your opponent. So yeah, pretty much if you take the Unleash the Hounds, the Hunters would be not that good. So I lost my Drake to a Lightning Bolt, 
with the spell power for damage. I knew that, but I had no cards to play and I had to play at least something. So he's basically now using the Blacking Storm and a, a bunch of trash. Except my Flame Tongue Totem, but that is absolutely fine. Ooh. Okay, yeah, let's do this. Let's get some cards, baby. Hex, nice. I think now he's, he'll use his Fire Elemental on my Manatide Totem. Ideally, it, I would prefer to get a couple of cards from a Manatide Totem. Same thing uh, goes to Acolyte of Pain. You want a couple of cards drawn before they die to fulfill their mana cost. But in this uh, particular situ situation, there is not a whole lot you can do. So, yeah. I'm sticking to my guns. I'm not planning to use my spells yet. Or hex. I prefer minions over the... Okay, now I think I'll get my... I'll use my spells now. Or not, actually. So both Fire Elementals gone from his side. I still got both of my Fire Elementals in my deck. Actually, I don't remember if I have a Earth Elemental, we'll see. A perfect target for Hex, but the fact that he got Karen Bloodhoof is... It means that he got Isera or Rag. And I'm not so keen about that. Elements guide me. He got on a he got only three card two cards in his hand. I would love to clear his board. Yeah, let's clear his board. And start chipping off his health. Because really, as I saw, his gameplay, his basic play is to, yeah, throw big creatures on board and hope that, you know, something good will happen. My strategy is to keep my board control, I do not rely on big creatures. I got a lot of removal. And what else? Got a lot of removal, and that's my big plan. Now, hopefully, next turn I'll get my fire elemental, or maybe at least hex, because I'm running low on good cards. Lightning storm is not that useful, and it's pretty expensive to use against a single target. Um, Spellbreaker. In this particular match, is kind of useless. I mean, I could have used Spellbreaker on his Karen Bloodhoof, of course, but it's not that good. That good of a deal. Oh, I got a taunt totem. <laughs> but I'm. I'm afraid that he might have. Hmm. He might have a lightning storm of his own. No, I'm not gonna play anything else. 
so let's see what he has. He cannot play Rag, Ragnaros, because he got only 7 mana. But he can play another Earth Elemental. Or. No, he got no Fire Elementals. Alright. Now he got more creatures on board, and I got my own Defender Vargas. Okay, this is 4, 7, 9, 10, okay. So hopefully I'll get the totem I need. No, I did not. And, uh, hmm. I guess it's all about faith. I must have faith in three damage. Balls to that. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so I guess I'll do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. And attack him in the face. I really need my big cards. I got a bunch of them. I think I got a bunch of them. Now I got only a counter to Stormforged Axe and a Doom Hammer. And a silence in case things will go bad. Okay, second hex goes from my opponent. I have no time for and this. Sylvanas Windrunner. Not the best Sylvanas. But I think I can deal with her. That'll be 3 damage. Oh, damn. Okay, let's do that. This dude packs a lot of legendary hit. I got the board, but I don't have the power. I really need power right now. Even Azure Drake would, would be great. Oh, he got Lightning Storm. I think it does have a lightning storm. My shield. No, it does not. All right. Guess that's fine. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh. <clears throat> that's tricky. So basically, he left me no choice but to attack his taunt with my Dark Iron Dwarf, and I'll have two damage left, which does not kill anything. I guess I could chop a little bit of health. But that's about it. And hopefully, he does not have a Lightning Storm again. Man, if only I had Bloodlust in my deck. Bloodlust would be great. He would have been dead by now, look at that. I get seven creatures on board. That's the perfect target for Bloodlust. What? What is he doing? Rock Biter? Hmm, I heal. Okay. Well, at least I have an option to kill his... What is... No, I st still can't do that. Ooh, Fire Elemental, nice. Finally. So what do I want to kill? I want to kill actually a creature that deals damage and kill the dude, because I can kill the taunt with my two totems. Yeah, let's do that. Kill that and get my last totem. Man, if only I had bloodlust. That would have been great. 
He would have like died an hour ago. There is so much damage potential. But this is not a bloodless deck. Sadly. Okay, it will do two damage. Yeah, two damage for a win. Oh, he's playing ballsy. Alright. No, I think I'll go for his face. He'll have to trade or use a removal to kill my fire elemental. Well, that counts, I guess. Now remember, I got a second fire elemental in my deck. And I think I got an Azure Drake and a bunch of twos and threes. And a hex, which does not help at all. Oh, it would be such a shame if, if he's like pulls out his doom hammer and like, hey, I killed your acidic swampoos. Right now I'm actually in a dilemma. What do I use my hex for? Against Ysera or Ragnaros? Ragnaros can kill you, but Ysera can give him a lot of cards, which will give him a big advantage. I guess it's situational, and I'll have to see if I'll go really low on health, or I will go I'll have more health than he does, but he will have a card advantage and summon a bunch of uh, green drakes, you know, this uh, 5 mana 7-6 drakes, or laughing sisters, or nightmare, or dream, I actually don't know, blood mage Thanos. Not a perfect target for me, but I guess I have like basically I have no choice. I have to play him. I don't have a, a lot of spells left in my deck. I've used both of my lightning storms. I've used Earth my only Earth Shock, my only lightning bolt I think was used. Yes, on a fire elemental or not. And that's about it. That's all the spells I have. Ooh, Azure Drake. Yes, good. Fire Elemental. Okay. Oh, I can use him. Mm, I cannot use him. Let's see if I'll get Faceless Manip. Perfect. Perfect. You know why? Because now I can hex his dude and cop you know, copy his big guy and hex him. Perfect situ situation. But unfortunately, I think I'll get. How is it called? <sighs> When you take damage, when you have no cards, you take damage every turn. That's his big play, okay. His plan is to... Yeah, lightning bolt, okay. Let's do this. Faceless Manip. Lightning bolt. Attack in the face. Hex. 
Done. I'm almost out of cards. Fatigue. Yes, fatigue. <sighs> okay, Earth Elemental is fine. I can use over that son of a, son of a thing. Okay, Fire Elemental. So I guess I'll use Sarah the Earth Elemental anyways. Should I play for Control or for Rush? Let's see. I will mourn your death. I'll definitely play totem. Okay, healing totem is fine. It means that oh no, he got a yeah, he got a solution <laughs> for that. Okay, so we are all out of cards. Let's see where will this road take us to. Shields up. Okay, taunt. And what is his last card? Blood Mage Thanos. Unfortunate, very, very unfortunate. Let's see what can I do. I can. I will Okay, so now I'll take two damage. Cannot kill me this turn. My fatigue is not that big. Oh, going up like a man. Well played, man. This match was really long. Whew. So thank you for watching. We're doing progress. Hopefully, I'll see you next time. Bye.